everyone, it's Rachel with Scientifically Engineered and I'm going to go ahead and do a July Currently Inked. Um, I know I'm quite a bit late. I haven't done one of these before so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Um, it's towards the end of July and frankly I have probably double the number of pens inked. Um, but these are the ones that I'm going to use for the last week of July. And so um, yeah, I thought I'd start doing doing some of these currently ink videos. I like to watch them and I wish that there were more. So I thought I'd go ahead and do one as well. Um, so bear with me while I try and figure out what it is I'm going to do when I do these. <laughs> um, so the first pen um, that I have inked up that pretty much stays consistently inked up is the Leonardo Memento Zero, um, a collab with Stilo E Steel in... I want to say it's in Rome. It's in somewhere in Italy. And this was their last year's Black Friday special. It's called Cometa. And what I really like about this pen, and you'll start to see it's a theme, is this is the first matte bodied pen I've ever used. Um, so it's not, you know, polished down like most resin pens get polished really smooth. And this one's matte. And I really actually ended up liking it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, it, I feel like your grip holds on a little bit better and it's just very soft and smooth to the touch. So I've been liking using these matte pens. Um, this one I ended up putting a Myora Fine on it and it's inked with Monteverde Ocean Noir. So let's go ahead and let's see. Um, so this nib has been tuned to be a little bit smoother. Can you see that? That's pretty far away. Let's see. I guess we could do this maybe. Just try it out for now. Um, I end up tuning most of my nibs, even if they're fine um, and they're smooth enough. I really like them to be very smooth. <laughs> So this has been tweaked and I really liked it. So this is inked with Monteverde Ocean Noir. So this nib is pretty wet for a fine nib. I'd say it, it leans almost, it's, it's still fine, but it's leaning towards a Western medium. Um, and this ink is very, very wet. And I think the ink matches perfectly with this pen. It's a sheening dark blue. Um, I think the ocean slash space vibes go well together. Um, so yeah. So that's what we've got going on here. I'm not even really sure what I'm going to do. I know some people um, show you how wet it is, I guess. <laughs> so that's the first one I have inked. The second I have ink is uh, the hot pink Twiz B Eco, and this is an extra fine. Oops, just dropped a bunch of stuff. Um, Twiz B Eco Hot Pink. It's not how you spell pink, but this is extra fine. And this is inked. Um, it's actually a mixture ink. So I inked it with Birmingham pens and a mix of their Tiger Lily and their Ladybug. So this one, I would say Birmingham inks typically are on the dry side, and then also this is an extra fine, and then also it's a really light color, so maybe it wasn't the best pairing, um, but it just reminded me of like a bright, uh, warm, sunny day, so I thought, whatever. And it writes just fine. I have no problem with it. It's actually pretty wet, so um, they paired well together despite what I think of this ink typically being dry and then this extra fine nib. Um, Twisby extra fines are probably the only extra fines I can really deal with. 
um, since they're not scratchy and, and they, they put down a good line width. So next I have the, this is the Banu Euphoria. This is the Gold Coast. It's a um, Atlas Stationers exclusive. And I'm gonna see like if I can move this light over a little bit better. This is the prettiest Banu I've ever seen. I was excited to get it. And then when I got it, it, I think it looks better than their pictures online. And I'm not even sure if I'm picking it up here. The gold is very shimmery, but there's also large chunks of like, um, like confetti glitter. And then you've got that up here as well. You've got the dark blue with the large chunks of confetti glitter. And in the middle here, you kind of have that lighter blue, but there's some like purple iridescent shimmer in here. And I think they just did a really good job with this pen. And my favorite part is that typically Banu's, this band right here is black and I think it breaks up the resin too much. So I'm happy that they, they made it cohesive. Um, this one I have in a, what is this? This is a broad and I've been definitely really enjoying this one. So this is the Banu, so can you see that? Banu Euphoria. And this is the Atlas Stationers. Exclusive. Um, and this is Gold Coast. In broad. And this one is inked with um, Sailor Monio Konagi. I've been digging some of the Sailor inks lately, and so pretty happy with Kanagi. Kanagi is a really wet ink. This broad is very juicy. This is a very, very juicy combo. Um, but I don't really have any trouble with bleeding. The majority of paper that I use, sometimes I use Tamoy River. Um, this is Cosmo Air Light. Um, and this is the Odyssey Notebooks version, so it's a higher GSM, and so I really rarely have bleed-through issues. I'll show the back after this. Um, look, see, that's odd. Like, that one seems so much wetter than this, and that seemed wet, and this doesn't. So I don't really know what that tells you, because I can tell you right now this is very wet. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm enjoying this combo a lot. The Euphoria, I always cap my pens. Um... I hate not capping them and the euphoria is slightly too long I think capped but it's still it's just so beautiful move this up a little bit um so next up this is kind of a fun <laughs> fun ink pen combo uh this is a twisty inko this is the glow green if I turned off the lights you'd be able to see that it glows in the dark I don't know if I can do that quickly enough You can't really tell. It glows in the dark. Take my word for it. And inside I've got the Pelican M205 Duo. This is their highlighter green. Um, they have a highlighter pen, I'm assuming in green, but I just like using it with this pen. This is not practical at all. Um, it also bleeds like crazy. I don't know why this ink bleeds so much. It, it might have something to do with the fluorescence of it, but um, nothing about this makes any sense. Uh, but I love it. <laughs> so this is a 1.1 stub. So let's see. So this is the Twisby Eco. And this is Glow Green. 1.1 stub. And it's inked with Sorry for that irritating squeaking sound. That's funny. <laughs> So this is the Pelican, basically it's highlighter green, so I'll just call it that. It's not too bright that you can't read it. Oh, it actually looks even better on camera than it does in person. Um, but I'll show you the back after this. And it really does just bleed like crazy. And why am I writing in highlighter green? I don't know, but it's really a fun combo. And there's no reason not to have a fun combo, in my opinion. And it's pretty wet and um yeah just an odd ink and pen combo but pretty fun 
Um, so next up, we'll go ahead and do this. This is the Kaveco Hello Kitty. Can you see that? Um, I think this is their AL Sport model, but it's in this like light blue. It's a collab with Sanrio, and it's got like the cute little logos here. It comes with a gold, um, whatever, clip. And I thought this blue looked really nice. And then the nib, I wonder if you're going to be able to see this, has Hello Kitty on it. So I thought it was adorable. Um, and it writes really well. Again, all of these nibs have probably been tuned at this point um, because I'm picky. But this is the Kaveco. We're going to say AL Sport. I'm not positive if that's what it is, but... Um, the Hello Kitty version. There's only one. <laughs> I think it comes in pink as well. Um, and I think it only comes in a fine nib, but the fine works just fine. Um, this is inked with Diamine Turquoise. So a lot of blue this month, but um, it's summer, it's July. So next month I'm going full fall because I live in California and I know it's not even the worst part of the United States. There's places it's much hotter, but it's hot here and I'm ready for fall. So this one's a pretty dry combo as you can see. It's fine nib dry ink, but it works really well. I think the pen and ink match fairly good. Um, and this Hello Kitty is just, it's so cute. So next up is another matte pen, and this is by um, Woodworkers of NC, North Carolina, I think. Um, I'll tag the, I'll, I'll post what their Instagram handle is below. And um, the pen is turned out of oil slick, which I believe is McKenzie, um, diamond cast, oil slick diamond cast, but it's matte. This pen is so like soft is what I would call it. It's, it probably shouldn't be posted, but again, I like post. It feels so good in hand. It's so comfortable to write with. It's like, I don't know. I've never felt uh, one of the Lava Rock Homo Sapiens, but it's, I feel like how they feel where it's like, I can't explain to you how comfortable and like just soft it feels it's very odd um I took the nib it had like a fine um Yovo nib I think I don't know and I took it off and I put on an Esterbrook this is one that's um plated pink from Heinz and it has the Gina journaler nib um this is like probably the best nib on the face of the earth so um I don't even remember what I inked this with I guess I'll find out in a second here so um I'm going to make sure it, uh, I get their name right, but I think it's Woodworkers of NC. I don't remember what they called it, but I'm just going to call it Oil Slick Matte. Um, with a Heinz plated... Uh, Gina Journaler. Um, and then this ink is, let's see, yeah. So this ink is the Pen Chalet, um, Pen Chalet uh, collab with Van Diemen, Van Diamond, don't know. And it's their like 10 year anniversary ink. Um, and this one is, let me make sure I get this right. This is Painted Desert, I believe. Yep, um, Painted Desert. And this one had, this one's like a, a deep purple, but it sheens like crazy. Um, I think I actually have a swatch earlier in this notebook. Maybe I'll pull it up real fast. Uh, yeah, this color 
here. It's got some insane green sheen. Um, go back here. So this is a really nice pairing. This is a fun ink. This is probably my favorite nib ever. It's got the perfect like line variation to where it makes your handwriting look a little bit cooler. Um, but I don't think it's, you know, sometimes stubs can be a little bit annoying and this one just isn't. So loving this pen. And the last pen I have inked that I guess I'll focus on, I guess, <laughs> is another matte pen. And I'm cheating a little bit and talking about this early. It hasn't released yet, but it's the next release from uh, Ferris Wheel Press and it's their the brush fountain pen. And this is the one that will be dropping on August 4th, I believe. And it's called Maple Syrup. Something maple, maybe like sparkling maple syrup. And um, it has all of the same like beautiful detailing on the part where you rest your hand. And on the nib, it has, I don't know if you can see it, nib has Ferris Wheel Press on it as well. I love this pen and maybe you can guess why now. <laughs> it's also matte. So I'm really digging pen companies moving towards offering matte versions of both their metal and their resin pens. Um, I just think it feels really comfortable in hand. And I think it looks like a very elegant pen. Um, as you can see, I have a pretty obnoxious color scheme, but I find this one to be pretty elegant. So this is Ferris Wheel Press. The brush, and this is in fine. And it's also inked with a little bit of a cheating ink as well. This is going to drop on the same day from Ferris Wheel Press. Um, and this one is called Poison, Poison, can I spell? Envy. It's a dark purple, it's got shimmer and sheen. I'll do another video where I really dig into this ink, but it's gorgeous. I can't wait for Halloween and this is a Halloween ink. Halloween, oh my goodness, Halloween ink if I've ever seen one. And the vibes don't really go together, but I don't care because I want them to, so they're going to. And um, this is a fairly wet ink. I think this is probably a medium ink. I think it's got a just a pretty average and decent flow. And then this pen, um, I think has a pretty average fine flow. So let's go ahead and go back. So this is my currently inked for the month of July. Um, the, the ones that have been going the best, I think right now, I'm really liking this Ferris Wheel Press combo. I will forever love any pen with the journal or nib in it. It's Next level. If you don't have a journal or nib, I highly, highly suggest it. You can get them from Esterbrook, or if you have a medium nib, you can get Gina. Maybe I'll link her as well, if I remember. You can get her to grind it for you. Um, love it. I'm adoring my Hello Kitty Kaveco. It's just so cute and fun. So, yeah, these three are probably my tops, but really happy this month with, with Kind of the bright obnoxious color scheme I got going on but um yeah again so this was on Cosmo Air light paper from Odyssey Notebooks I'll show you the back of the page so you can see like minor ghosting and nothing bled through and sometimes I have issues um with really wet ink combos or sometimes with extra fine nibs or sometimes with really wet inks like Monteverde or Van Diemen but with this Cosmo Air Light paper, I just, yeah, I don't have that issue. Um, I have an affiliate code with a few of the things on here. I'll keep them in the in the description if you're interested. I think I have an Atlas Stationers one. Um, I have one for Odyssey Notebooks. And then obviously I got one for Ferris Wheel Press. And then I have like a $10 off for Pinchalet if you've never ordered there before. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep that in my videos from now on. So if people are interested in saving some money and they're interested in any of this stuff, they could go ahead and get it. But um, 
really liking all these combos. I don't recommend using this ink, <laughs> this highlighter pelican ink, as like a normal everyday ink. Uh, if you're seeing this and you're like, oh, that looks like it would be fun and cool. It's not. It, it's fun, but uh, it doesn't dry very well and it bleeds on most other play papers. And it's just very odd, but it was fun. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure what the next video will be. It might be an August currently inked, honestly, since I'm so late with this one. Um, but I also have some different inks that I want to swatch in a more fun way. So yeah. I figured I should go ahead and maybe show you some of the um, sheen that these inks got going on. So there you can see what the Monteverde Ocean Noir got a bit of sheening going on. There's a little bit of red sheen in Kanagi. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then down here, um, you can see that one as well. Ferris will press Sheen's yellow, um, Pen Chalet painted desert, Van Diemen painted desert, Sheen's green. These are similar purples. Let's see if I could even get this light closer. Um, this is a little bit more red toned and lighter, a little bit more blue toned and darker. This one's Sheen's yellow, this one's Sheen's green. And this one has a little tiny bit of shimmer in it as well. So if you're looking at those two inks and wondering if you like one of them or you're not sure the difference, that's kind of what we're looking at there. All right. Goodbye for real now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.